Good morning, I'm Nick Macaluso, your philosophy teacher, and this concludes our series of videos on the three ethical paradigms. This one, we're going to be talking about consequentialism, as most famously espoused by John Stuart Mill. Now, in consequentialism, only the consequences matter. The intention doesn't matter. It's not the thought that counts. Only the consequences matter. What we must do is try to achieve the greatest happiness for the greatest number. We need to maximize happiness or minimize misery for the greatest number of people. And John Stuart Mill defines happiness as pleasure or the absence of pain and misery as pain or the absence of pleasure. So what we want is the greatest happiness for the greatest number of people, and it's only the consequences that matter. Furthermore, we should be disinterested, not uninterested, which means bored, but disinterested, meaning we don't have a special interest in our own happiness, but an equal interest in everyone's happiness. You consider your own and other happiness to be equal. So that's what you must do in consequentialism. Only the consequences matter. Greatest happiness for the greatest number. Now, there are some advantages to this and some disadvantages. Where am I? There I am. The advantages are that good consequences really are what we want. There's the only thing we want is good consequences. All the other ethical systems, the, uh, the deontology and virtue ethics, those are only prescribed as means to this end, which is to achieve happiness, to achieve good consequences. And consequentialism recognizes that sometimes we really do have to compromise. Sometimes the rules don't help us, they actually get in our way, so what we should do is the good thing. Now, what are the disadvantages of consequentialism? One big critique comes from philosopher John Rawls, who pointed out that consequentialism might justify grave injustice for one group to benefit the majority of the others. He's specifically talking about the injustice of slavery. So he, it might be that having a few people as slaves would make the rest of the people happy and sort of raise the total level of happiness overall. But nobody's going to volunteer to be treated unjustly for their whole life. So, um, that's, so consequentialism might endorse injustice, which we otherwise would not put up with. Also, um, if you're going to treat the rules as optional, then why have rules at all? That's the downside of consequentialist thinking. So that's the last of our three paradigms of three ethical systems. Thank you.